What's going on everyone? It's Greg back with some more Mirror 4 and today is update day. We have our patch notes. Let's talk about what's going on and what's not going on. Well, at least what's not in the patch notes. So, first off, the main sections we have here are the Clan Sanctuary will be added. The new Magic Stone will be added called Spectrumite. Uh, new Codex achievements will be added. This is for a time limited thing. Um, three new hotkeys will be added. And then a new condition for sealing NFT will be added. So let's get into our details and see what this is all about. First and foremost, we have Clan Sanctuary. So this Clan Sanctuary is a new feature to be used with Hidden Valley or um, within Hidden Valley or Labyrinth. And um, granting buffs to all clan members who use the area. Only clan members who have war permission can use this or, or can purchase a summon badge from the clan shop. I'm assuming you walk up to it, you know, you interact with it, use a badge, just like you summon a boss in Secret Peak. Um, it says clan tech attack formation must be achieved to use this feature. There is one designated place per each map to summon the sanctuary. So I'm assuming it's each labyrinth or hidden valley. And uh, only the sanctuary can be made per each. Only one sanctuary can be made per each clan. So you can only have one at a time going. Sanctuary can be destroyed by other clans and will not be destroyed by ally by ally clans. Sanctuary will be indestructible for three hours from the summon period and it will automatically be destroyed after 72 hours. So it can last up to 72 hours but will be destroyed after or is destroyable after the first three hours. So this is under the details it shows you the sanctuary protection time is three hours, sanctuary duration period is three days, and then the effects are uh, hunting XP boost 20%. I mean, 20% is nothing nothing to scoff at. Um, I'm assuming it will possibly be multiplied by the multiplier if you have your vigor active. Um, so that makes it even a little bit more. Not really sure. The only thing is, this is called Sanctuary. It sounds like, you, you know, the players will be protected within the Sanctuary, but it I don't know. It doesn't, it's not, I'm not seeing anything in the description about that. You know, it almost seems like all you're going to do is get a buff in that area of the XP. So, you know, what's to stop? You know, you, you're going to have to have someone guarding it every, you know, like for the full 72 hours, like take shifts or something. I don't know how you're going to make it so that no one just swoops in and destroys your sanctuary after three hours. So, um, this will be interesting. I mean, I don't know how much it's going to cost and if three hours is going to be worth whatever the cost is. Um... But maintaining it for 72 hours, um, even on some of the more passive servers, might still be difficult. Um, and then Sanctuary is an interesting name because it, it kind of sounds like you would be safe in the Sanctuary. Because it's kind of what it seems like this feature should be. Something that just is a safe farming area. Kind of like the Hidden Passages. Um, so, I don't know. It doesn't, but it, just, it, it sounds like it's only going to give a buff for the area, which is... Um, which is interesting. So we're gonna have to really have to wait and see how this is in the game. Um, but I'm not at this point. I'm not saying it sounds like anything too amazing, especially because a lot of times the labyrinths, I mean, the hidden, the valleys are pretty good. Um, but I don't know what area this is in. If there's dense mobs, those XP spots are probably not as good as you know a bunch of the other XP spots. So it's probably not even gonna be worth it. But we'll have to wait and see. Spectrumite. This is a new item, which is a magic stone, but it's going to have its own slot. So we're going to get a seventh magic stone slot for the Spectrumite items. It's a new kind of magic stone that has 1.5 times higher ability stats compared to the magic stones of the same grade. There will, uh, there will vary in four grades. It will be uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary. There's no fixed options. And um, you'll have a maximum of six random additional options. I'm assuming that's on the legendary. Um, maybe maybe the lower ones have more too. I don't know. Exclusive slot for Spectrumite will open after reaching Tower of Quintessence level 12. That's pretty that's decently high. I don't know what level that is. It might be 80 or 85. I can't quite remember. So, I don't know. Interesting new item. We'll have to see how it drops. Where to get them. You know, is there a separate combination for them? Can you just get it from combining magic stones? Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. You know, where they're going to be farmable and things like that. Like, if you look at the mystical pieces, you know, barely anyone has an epic, and then, you know, a handful of people have a rare, and then most of the ones out there are uncommons. Um, so, I don't know. Hopefully, it'll be a little bit more formable than that, but we'll have to wait and see. Then, we have changes to the in-game shop. 
they are removing the daily packages. So we're removing all of the daily packages that you can get for like 10 bucks, uh, where you get the same item each day. These were good values, and I'm a little bit sad to see them go, but it is what it is, and they will no longer be available. I'm assuming the way this will work is if you have it active, it's going to continue until the end of your period, and then you will no longer be able to purchase it. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. I'm assuming they'll have some type of compensation for it in one way, one form or another. Next, we have the new codex items. These are just temporary, uh, time-limited codex for Tiger's Blessing, which I'm assuming is related to some event. Um, I don't know if this is related to, we'll see, White Tiger's Codex Badge, Blue Tiger's Codex Badge. I don't know which event this is related to or what, what this is, where these come from, but these are just going to be probably event-related uh, codex items. Then, uh, new hotkeys have been added. So they have added a hotkey for PK mode change, which I think is good. Now you go from hostile to peaceful, things like that with the, with the hotkey. I like that. And attack players only. I like a hotkey for that. That's pretty cool. And then dash. What is that? I feel like dash was the dodge or whatever. Like I used shift for that. I don't know if that was uh, already the key and maybe they didn't have a way to set it. I don't know. Um, maybe that was maybe that was already the key. I don't Or if that's something else. I'm not really sure what the dash is referring to, um, but I thought we could already assign that. We have to wait and see. All right, target icon system, clan mark. The target icon will be added to PC and Steam version. Target icon is a function applicable to individual players. You can click on the player to place an icon over the character. Target icons can be shared with clan members. So I'm assuming you can put a target on um, a character and then share the location of that person. So instead of sharing just your location, you can share the location of target although i don't see how much different that would be from just sharing your current locations i don't know how useful this actually is or if it is an actual targeting thing for clans i'm not sure um it sounds like it's already on is this means already on mobile i don't know does anyone use that let me know in the comments um or if it's only going to be available on pc and steam which is kind of weird uh next up we have uh the the change I am most excited for in these patch notes, um, I mean, all of the new, the new stuff is cool, but this is something I was waiting for. I was actually going to make a video on this based on the Korean version um, in the next couple weeks, but they're already bringing it, and I'm glad that they are. This is a change to Magic Square and Secret Peak. The time limit pop-up screen will be improved. Auto extend time limit feature will be added. So now, you can't necessarily load up a bunch of tickets, but you can have it auto load your ticket. So you don't have to check it every 30 minutes to go to load another ticket. And the reason why these these are limited, guys, these tickets are so valuable. Like, you, they can't let you just load in eight tickets, and then what happens if there's an emergency maintenance or something? They're not going to go through and try to figure out how many tickets someone needs to get back and stuff like that. The whole point of their maintenance is they close these things down 30 minutes before. That way, no one wastes their tickets at that point in time. Now, granted, there are some instances where people do, and that's why they send out one ticket when that happens, because they know that you can't use any more, you know, you can't load up more than one ticket. Um, so I think at most people might still lose a few minutes, but other than that, that that's why that feature is like that. Like, you don't want to be able to have a, the ability to just say, oh, use eight tickets. That would, that could be very bad, especially if you die or disconnect. Like, okay, you don't want to be afk and then disconnect or die um so what that happens here is this auto extend feature i've already read up on it on the korean server so i can tell you how it works here um, but let's just finish reading the description here it says the term entry ticket will be changed to entries alert message will appear when you try to use excessive amount of tickets upon entry uh excessive amount of entry tickets at once uh i'm not sure what the deal is with that um i guess I don't know why, why it's an alert. I mean, I know how the system works, so I'm a bit curious about that. But location of the time limit extension button and tooltip button will be switched. So you, you, people will probably hit the wrong button for a few days. But the way this works is once you're in uh, Magic Square Secret Peak, you can set bring up this screen to set up auto extend. And I have not figured out quite how it works with the gold slash the tickets. Um, but I know you can extend... You might have to manually do the gold thing, so you might not be able to, you know, do the the gold one on the auto extend. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. But the way it works with tickets is, you'll say, oh, I want to be in there for eight tickets. Then it will keep refreshing your ticket for you 
unless you die or disconnect or you know whatever so that way you're not wasting any tickets so if if by chance you die on like your first or second ticket you lo you wanted to go for eight you didn't load up eight tickets you actually just had it set up to auto extend instead of you having to run back to the computer or on your mobile device and hit extend on, uh, on your own so it's a very cool feature i am very excited for it um and it will it will help me out a whole lot and hopefully it will help a lot of other people i am very 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 excited for this feature so i do thank them for that then we have in-game bug fixes and gameplay improvements maximum number of favorite items on the market increase from 30 to 60. i could care less about that i really don't want more than six or seven because scrolling kind of defeats the whole purpose uh, i want to be able to see a few straight up when i pull up the market um, fix the issue of monster being spawned in safe zone right next to the portal in red moon valley's first floor okay um i never noticed that i don't think i've heard of anyone talking about that uh, added a feature to arrange the order of clan members in accordance with the power score in the clan tab within a party that's a little bit confusing um i'm assuming this is when you're looking at the clan members from the party window uh, and trying to add people i think that's pretty cool that you can sort them i, I like that especially when you're trying to create like high power parties uh, number four fix the issue of not being able to use cert use skills in certain situations uh, I've had some issues with skills, so I, I hope this fixes whatever I've seen. Um, I can't really describe exactly what I've seen, but like there's a thing where you can click the button, but yet you're out of MP, but it didn't really register that you're out of MP. I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird. Hopefully, they just fix the little abnormal abnormalities there. And then we improved the feature of territory titles. I don't know. I think that's where you can put in the valley. You can put a message out to everyone who enters the valley. I'm not sure. Um, but my big thing here that I do not see is anything about the clan bugs that have been around for weeks now and it's getting quite annoying that clan tech donations will DCU, regular donations DCU, supply donations DCU. The issue is that every time they do a temporary maintenance or a regular maintenance, it works for some period of time and then stops working. So we don't actually know if it's fixed for a few days. The only thing we will know right away if it's fixed is if the clan shop is working if the clan shop is working we don't have these items that show negative and stuff like that then it's a positive sign that they at least did something but it's still no guarantee that they fixed the other bug and it could be very well come back in like 48 to 72 hours so i don't know that that has been very annoying i'm not sure why it's taking this long to fix i really hope they say something and are transparent with it because i'm really kind of it's getting old that they haven't even made an announcement on it the best we can get is that the community managers are saying, oh, they know about the issue is being worked on. Okay, great. Can we get some kind of information, please? Um, it, it's kind of ridiculous as it's been around this long. Um, the new NFT ceiling condition. Um, so this has to do with the alignment points, the PK points on NFTs. I didn't really pay attention to this, but I guess you could seal with like <laughs> up to like a negative 100K. And in that case, whoever get your account they log in and they gotta get rid of pk points that could be very very annoying if you didn't know that ahead of time so i'm assuming there were some complaints and that's where this came from so i don't know we'll have to uh, uh this doesn't really apply to me uh, it probably doesn't apply to most people unless you somehow ended up with like negative 100k and then you decide you want to sell well you're gonna have to get your pk points uh work back up before you can sell so that's that that's the update overall you know what i'm excited for some of the changes that are coming especially the magic square and secret peak uh i'm you know kind of excited to see what this new magic stone is and then the clan sanctuary San clan sanctuary i feel like it's going to be disappointing but we'll have to see how it is in game hopefully i will do a video on that um and the biggest thing is if the clan stuff is still around i'm probably gonna end up making a rant video on that if if it ends up happening this week because that is just ridiculous we should not be having to deal with that um it should have been a high priority thing to fix it is hindering you know people's experience and hindering our abilities to do you know get the donation stuff in and the, even the clan tech like the clan tech you, you can work on the clan tech to get energy and we are really lacking the energy for expeditions so i really 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 hope they did something with that um but i'm not holding my breath we'll have to wait and see so anyway let me know what you guys think down in the comments below uh, if you're enjoying the videos, make sure you hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Turn those notifications on. Catch you guys in the next video.